Okay. Hi, I'm Oliver Cromer, and today I'm going to be talking about learning hierarchical skills for multi-phase manipulation tasks. Uh, this is work that I did together with my colleagues at the TU Darmstadt. Most manipulation tasks can be decomposed into a sequence of phases, and these phases are important because the effects of the robot's actions change depending on which phase the robot uh, the uh, robots in. So for example, uh, for basic grasp, we have three distinct phases. One, where we don't actually manipulate the object. One, where we can apply forces to the object. And the third, where we're actually lifting and moving the object up and down. Important thing about these phases is that there's certain conditions that need to be made in order to transition from one phase to the next, such as the making and the breaking of contacts between objects. The goal of our work was to learn hierarchical skills that, that allow the robot to transition between different phases in order to perform different tasks. Our, uh, our approach is based on three key things. First, we de decompose the task into phases um, and learn the conditions for transitioning between phases. Secondly, we learn low-level skills for transitioning between these phases. And lastly, we learn a high-level policy which selects between these different phases in order to create a complete hierarchical skill. In order to learn the um, phase structure of the task, we employ a star HMM which captures two things. First, it captures the um, effects of the robot's actions in each phase, but it also collects the um, information about the conditions for transitioning between phases, which represent the sub-goal of the next task. Given this approach, um, we can then apply policy search reinforcement learning and imitation learning in order to um, learn motor primitives for transitioning between the different phases. In order to learn the high-level policy, uh, we employ a policy iter uh, iteration approach um, based on non-parametric dynamic programming. Um, this allows the robot to um, learn to sequence um, motor primitives, um, but also be able to reuse motor primitives from other tasks when performing new tasks. We applied this approach um, to the task of bimanual grasping, where the robot either uses the left or the right hand first for, for picking up an object, but we can also reuse some of the learned motor primitives, for example, for a pushing task. Uh, yeah, for more information, I suggest reading my paper.